no light and bring it up to about one o'clock okay we just got a first glimpse of light there let's bring it up just to about I don't know three o'clock now that's a bit much the lights on all the time so we don't want that let's bring it back to about two o'clock Once again, as we've set this up to the maximum we're going to play, let's just bring it down now. I think that is pretty well set up fine. And I'll bring the guitar back a little bit now. And watch, it shouldn't come on. But if we did turn it all the way. Okay, so that's, that is a problem that you could get into. That if you don't set it up at the beginning of the night and as you get excited with your playing and stuff, you start turning up your instruments. I've just set it up for the guitar to be three quarters of the way down and the light's not coming on, occasionally. If I have the guitar all the way up, it's gonna be on all the time. And that's gonna be distorting. Okay, so make sure you do set up for the maximum volume you're going to be playing on the night, okay? So that is perfect now. So with the jack-to-jack -jack lead, we've got an acoustic guitar plugged into the second channel. Gains have all been set up. Moving on, what I'm gonna do, because the volumes aren't up, I can unplug the guitar. I'm gonna plug in electric, just to show you that an electric guitar is gonna have, well, normally what you would do with your electric guitar, you'd be running through your pedal board. Once again, you do the same thing. Set up your pedal board so you've turned up to the maximum volume you're gonna be set at, or same thing with your guitar. Turn it to the maximum volumes. Now, guitar doesn't have much volume coming out of it. It's actually in millivolts. So that's why we normally have to go through pedals or a preamp. For the sake of this exercise, I'm running into channel two, but I already know because I don't have a preamp that I'm gonna to have to run this gain pretty high. Okay, so let's go, same exercise. Start playing. Now see that setting? I've left it there, that was for the acoustic guitar. Volumes here are flat out. I'm playing the guitar as loud as I can, and I've got no red light. So watch this. Okay, so as we come to the three o'clock position, the red lights come on. So it's a little bit back, just a little bit back. Now that second channel has been set up for an electric guitar. So as you turn up, once again, the master volumes in the second channel, that guitar, you'll be able to hear it through the PA and you won't have to be running. Once again, never have to run your controls up like here on a mixer. If you're starting to do that, it starts, uh, I think you've got your inputs and your output gains set up incorrectly. Okay, moving on, one more thing. Let's plug the keyboard in. I've got a Roland keyboard here right beside me. At uh, the acoustic guitar, we're around probably two o'clock. The electric guitar, we're about 2.30. Just a little bit past, so let's now plug in the keyboard. Last but not least, okay. Same thing with the keyboard. What do you do? Same as the guitar. The guitar I put flat out. Most of the guys are gonna probably play three quarters of the way, so give yourself some headroom. Set it up around the two o'clock position. So you still have a little bit of movement there. And let's bring that down. Now let's once again watch the red light. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I'm actually turning up the gain control. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Is it making a liar out of me? No, no, there it is. Okay, so that tells me that if the keyboard is set on about two, two o'clock position on its volume, I need about three o'clock on the mixer to set up the two volumes, the output and the input of the mixer. The output of the keyboard is now matched up to the input of the mixer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is turn up the keyboard flat out and play and watch the red light should be on all the time. Now that's incorrectly set up. Okay, so you've got to know, the keyboard player's got to know that if he's giving you three, you know, his maximum volume at two o'clock on his keyboard and that's what you've set it up for, that's what he's got to be the maximum he's going to play on his keyboard. Because if he starts turning it up to 9 and 10, like I've done there a few minutes ago, guess what? He's going to be distorting the mixer. And all you're going to get is a horrible distortion coming through the PA system or onto your recording. Now, I hope that's cleared 
a few things up for you. If you do have any more questions, please do send me an email at Carlo at Downtown Music here in Sydney, Australia. And once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch up with you soon. Thank you.